Let's get it, nigga. Breeze on the beats. Hey, y'all know this person? You asked me to rate myself 1 to 10. I am a 10. A 10 out of 10. The only men who are saying that I'm a 2 on a 10 scale can't afford dinner, okay, can't afford my bills, and are always complaining about how they want women to go 50-50 with them on dates. Okay, babes, I'm a 10. Gabby says she a 10. You asked me to rate myself 1 to 10. I am a 10. We are not going to rate you, Gabby. We're not going to do that. You trying to get me in trouble, right? Gabby out here looking like Black Casanova with this 5 o'clock shadow mustache. Come on, come on. Uh, come on. Uh, oh, man, I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to say this. Uh, did y'all check out Tommy Sotomayor last uh, video? Uh, Red Supreme had a, had a clip of it that he was, you know, have a dialogue about. And we will have a dialogue about that. Well, let me bring you up to speed. Tommy Sotomayor was uh, letting the sisterhood know how things goes and nigger them. I'm here to give you more insight too as well, so we're going to dive into this. Uh, Tommy Sotomayor said it's outrageous that the big girls, the big girls like Gabby, how they are now demanding and And you fella realize that Tommy Sotomayor told y'all to my thick chicks morning time and 11.30. Gabby 11.30. I ain't got shit to do. I'm thirsty. Gabby don't understand it's Gabby or Jack Off Night. It's that simple. You ain't got to put no extras on it. It's a simple decision right there. Right? Now, if something else better than Gabby comes through, Gabby is not going to get the call. You go, you go mess with that that don't look like Gabby. But if you got Gabby versus a jack-off night, we choosing Gabby. Right now, Gabby made three statements that we go break down like brown bud here on the show. So let's play some Gabby and let's break it down. All right, y'all with me? Come on, man, stay with me. Don't be offended. You know this shit true. You know a nigga ain't lying. Let's get it. I'm a ten out of ten. The only men who are saying that I'm a. T All right, one thing that turned niggas off <laughs> were straight up is. Especially you a big girl and you got motherfucking arrogance and shit like that. Like, the arrogance is, you know, it's like, like, nigga, please. Two on a 10 scale, can't afford dinner. All right. She said we can't afford dinner. Fellas, yes, we can't afford dinner. We can afford a good dinner too, right? With these coupons. We can afford church's chicken, right? We, we already know we're going to get that motherfucking 10 piece of church's chicken. You're going to fuck them biscuits up, Gabby. 
Shit, I got a coupon for two other side overs. I can get you some mashed potatoes and some jalapeno bobbers, Gabby. Come on now. We can afford dinner. We already know you like to eat. Now, are you saying going out with you in public and shit like that? No, niggas ain't doing that. That's why, you know, if a, niggas is already like, no. niggas ain't doing that. You miss another 30. You got to know your place and your role. Role, right? Oh, yeah. I didn't know it was the morning time. Some of you females, you know what I'm saying, the big ones, it's going to see in the morning time and shit. You know, go knock them off. And they, they kids got to go to school and shit after and shit. She got to go pick them up. That type of thing. Morning calls. I just thought it was 11, 11.30. 11.30. Shit, make me get up out my goddamn bed. Hell no. Hell no. Let's get it, Gabby. We can afford dinner. Okay, can't afford my bills. Whoa, 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 bills. Oh, hell no. Nigga. Hell no. Nigga, why we paying your bills, Gabby? Your coochie ain't even good enough, nigga. That shit don't sparkle in the sunshine. That coochie don't make, that coochie ain't a fucking duplicator of dollars and shit. It's sucking up damn money. You already, you already, you already, you like to eat. Shit, you like to eat, you killing a nigga in pockets. He talking about help you out on your motherfucking bills. And I ain't staying there, nigga. Go, come on, nigga. Come on, nigga. Who you fooling? Who you fooling? You get up here in front in front of that goddamn camera. And I'm going to tell you something. Gabby, when you look at her when she said that shit, like, okay, you probably can't afford She She kind of laughed and shit because she knows she was speaking some bullshit. Bullshit, nigga. All right? I give Gabby credit, man. Sometimes you got to believe your own game. Me, man, I used to practice in the mirror to believe my own bullshit. And I see Gabby, she doing the same motherfucking thing. She believing in her bullshit. Pay your bills? Look, flat out, flat out. Regular ham and egg, nigga. It's a jungle out here that make me wonder why my people going under, nigga. Everything going up. Food, fucking gas. You live in Cali, nigga. You paying $6 goddamn gas. Nigga. Nigga. Nigga, nigga, rent, rent, just on, just on the regular rent, man. You could take that same rent, go somewhere else, and get, and that's two months right there. You getting paid every month. Don't you have no cable? You let your car insurance lapse and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because it's hurting you. And see, that's the thing I, I don't like about us black people. We act like that shit don't be hurting us, nigga. That shit is hurting us, nigga. It's hurting us. But we will prevail. We'll get used to the shit, nigga. Find another way to get some money up in this motherfucker. All right? That's what men do, right? Like Gabby talked about me pay your bills. If it's tough for me and I got to pay your bills... And all you contribute is, is fat back coochie and shit. Not, not, not even a not even a linear cut. Fat back. Come on, Gabby. You know the truth. No. We ain't doing that. Damn your motherfucking bills. You independent. And are always complaining about how they want women to go 50-50 with them on dates. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 it ain't that, it ain't that, it ain't that. We want you to go 50-50 on the day. That's what it is. We want you, Gabby. Gabby, you got to understand. Look, hey, when I had my gap, women, they bought me up and they threw me over in the ugly section. You bitches was just doing a Kobe. Ray, they was Ray Allen a nigga and shit from the three-point line, nigga. Boost, nigga, I ain't fucking with you, nigga. This bitch was just like, hell no. it was like, hell no, nigga. Hell no. So I know. See, Gabby got to understand there's the rules to this game, right? It ain't that the fact that we can't pay. It's just the fact that you should be paying. <laughs> Correlation. Now let's talk about that conversation Tommy Sotomayor had. He had the breakdown. Uh, you know, a lot of, I know a lot of women was offended. There was a woman on the line, man, she was speechless, but it was so fucking true. Tommy said, hey, a lot of us nigga, we gotta start off with these big bitches. 
And, and what's, what's going on right now, big girl arrogance. You should be lucky you getting some of this fucking dick. Especially if a nigga got his shit together. He got his shit, man, you should be lucky. You should be lucky you get some of this damn dick, right? Now he said on the flip side, flip side, right? But the did 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 on the flip side, right? On the flip side is niggas' minds would look at a at a woman like the fine ones and shit, and he was like, nigga, them the motherfuckers that's the biggest goddamn three oh fours, nigga, like like. He had the okie doke played on him a couple of times. Basically, sometimes you gotta vet a person real, real good because you know they'll make it up and you will be fooled, man. Look, I'ma share something with you. If your woman's super, super, super fine, shit, it's a line of niggas in line. Nigga. Just ask yourself. Just ask yourself a question and shit. Nigga, why this bitch gonna be loyal to me, nigga, when I ain't got shit, nigga? Oh. Trying to tell you. And the, and the pretty ones, they be the craziest ones. They be the craziest ones. Like, when I hear stories of how the new school of brothers and sisters have relationships and the things they do, like, I, I could give you an example of of DJ Academics. DJ Academics said, hey man, my bitch so goddamn crazy. <laughs> that they putting tracking devices on niggas. When I when I said that, it's like, it's like, no, nah, no, nah, man, you ain't even gotta go that damn length and shit. I'll just tell you straight up, yeah, bitch, I'm cheating. Yeah, I'm cheating. I'm cheating. Shit. Let's get this out the way. Let's get this out the way. You know, and and with him, you know, his woman didn't want to bounce rock skate because she didn't want to work at Wendy. She already knew this this cat, this is the cash cow. It hurts my soul. But you niggas that got money, you gotta understand, nigga, she just with you for the money, nigga. She don't even like you like that, nigga. She don't even like you like that, nigga. And you saying, you know what? Hey, it's a price I'll pay just to get up in these skins every now and then to knock it. I get it, but damn, nigga. This nigga's fucking her for free, right? I'm trying to let you know, man. I'm trying to let you know. I feel sorry for the, the, the new, I mean, the, the new squad, you got your own dilemmas, but it's just to look out there in that field, and it's like, man, it ain't looking good for the, for the fellas, the pickings. It just ain't looking good. So let's get back on Gabby. Gabby, man, her arrogance, nigga, is comical. Her, like, and the funny thing about it, nigga, her sisterhood community feel the same way like Gabby, you need to shut the fuck up. I want to see Gabby in the gym. I want to see Gabby in the gym talking all that goddamn shit. Like, pay your fucking bills, dog. No, you pay as you weigh and shit and get your ass in the gym. Get Gabby in the gym. Up here looking like Biz Markie on that damn song. You got what I need. Ain't no, nigga, I, ain't no way in hell Gabby getting more men than I got motherfucking women in my lifetime. Hey, man. Nigga be like, look, 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 look here's the scenario. Gabby be the nigga. Hey, as soon as I walk in the door, hey, let's hurry up and get this shit over with, nigga. I'm already I'm zippy, zippy. Let's get this shit over with. This shit over You got the magnums, they already in my hand. They already in my hand. Let's get the shit out of here. Now, see, here's the thing, though. What's a deterrent to men that that act like Gabby is that you need to clean that, that damn attitude up, that, that arrogance, that, that just arrogance. It's like that right there, a nigga would be like, man, I'm thirsty, but fuck it, I'll go jack off tonight. That's horrible. That's horrible. Coochie should win all the time. But see, it don't. It don't. They'll fumble it and fuck it up too. We talk too goddamn much. Fuck the whole damn shit up. Right? And then they'll call you. 
hey fellas, you done did that, they done said some shit. You like, you know, you know what? Uh, give me my weed back and shit. Uh, I'm about to raise up. I'm about to raise up. Oh, they call you a bitch, faggot ass nigga. You gay all. It's time to raise up. And a, a, a nigga that said, you know what? I'm going to deal with Gabby. Ah, psychic fucker. Again, I'll take the jack off night and shit. That's fucked up, ladies. That's fucked up, ladies. Hey, babes. Psst, hey, that's, how, that's how me and our, our Gabby. Psst, babes. Shit, babes. babes. Your ass should be driving over here. Stopping by the stopping by the hamburger motherfucker spot, nigga. Two two in the morning, nigga.